News on the Go. We're at Carver Community Center where there's an important meeting going on tonight, not only to announce the priorities for Southtown TIF redevelopment funds, but also a what could be a, a very uh, interesting and uh, successful venture that involves kids that are dropping out of high school with William Polite, who is with the Magic Johnson Learning Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, all right, tell us exactly first what is that. What, what is it that Magic Johnson has started? Mm -hmm. Well, Magic has become very concerned and involved with the dropout uh, crisis across the country. About three years ago, he got called to New York City by Mayor Bloomberg to come in and do what he was calling a roll call in the city at that time to help him uh, with the dropout problem in, in New York City. And at that time, he really realized how bad the dropout problem was around the country in many of the places that he was already doing business in. And he kind of said, well, what can I do about this problem? And therefore, uh, the Magic Johnson Bridge Cape Learning Center concept came into being. And what we're doing is trying to reach out to kids that have dropped out of school, kids that are about to drop out of school, and kids that are also coming out of juvenile justice centers around the country that need an alternative setting to grow in and looking to partner with school districts uh, to help uh, solve that dropout problem across the country in different places everywhere from New York City to LA but also in the Peorias, the Birminghams, the, the Little Rock, Arkansas, the big and the small places. We've got to do something about the problem. Since the few times I've been here to visit I've met some very passionate and concerned community members and leaders here in Peoria who really want to reach out uh, and make some positive things happen at the Carver Center here. And we would just be excited to just be a part of that uh, in saving lives here in Peoria and working with the community to catch those, as I said, that are falling through the cracks. So uh, we're excited about the possibilities and we'll see what's going to happen. We're now here with Vip Murray, who is a food drive coordinator for the National Association of Little Curious Food Drive, coming up in May. Victor, how many years has it been now? It's been 20 years, Dennis. We've, um, and actually, Peoria was the first, one of the first cities to actually be um, participating in the food drive. It was, and it was such a success that we just kept on going and going and going. What is the purpose of the food drive? Well, the purpose is to have the community donate uh, some non-perishable food items, and then it gets distributed to the families and the people that need them in our community. So it's a community-based or um, drive, actually. Everybody who wants to participate just drop off a couple non-perishable perishable food items um, by their mailbox, and then your letter carrier will pick it up, and then... Basically, that's it. That's all that needs to be done. You give us the food, and we'll take it to the proper areas to be distributed out. 